Hello and welcome to a new Blender Quick Tip. Today we look at how to export the relevant passes, in my case at least. And um, as you can see, it looks quite complicated, but in, actually it is not. Um, well, you have these passes which are added together, diffuse, direct, indirect, which are multiplied by the diffuse color, which is just a basic way to put these diffuse passes together. The same with glossiness, translucency, volume is added. And then we have the emission pass, environment, environment which is the background. And then we have shadow and ambient occlusion. Um, ambient occlusion is used all the way, I would say, um, which brings more yeah, more depth to a scene. Um, I really like to have all these passes in alpha. That's the reason why I added an alpha over it. So you just use the image, set an alpha over it, and then you just have the the information that you need. Um, the next thing that is happening is a denoise node to denoise every pass information. And that is very useful and very good to have a clean output image. And of course, there's another node set up here, which is sort of a special pass, which um, which you can create on your own if you have a pass maybe for a blur effect or something like that. You can create also special passes in combining some elements with each other. Um, the last thing here is the final output node. And as you can see, if I press N, there are a lot of outputs which I created here. And mostly I use PNG. PNG is a lossless format and is very um, small compared to other formats. And that is how I export my scenes. Um, I hope you find this quick tip useful. Um, if there's anything else, just leave a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, see you next time and God bless you.